This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2013 F-350 crew cab long bed. Um, it is a 6.7 turbo diesel. It's four wheel drive. It's the FX4 off-road suspension package. And it's a Lariat, which is leather. It's uh, a dealer trade-in to a uh, new car dealership in Phoenix. We bought it last week. Love this truck. Apparently when they have over 100,000 miles, uh, they can't get the right financing for their uh, buyers on the used car dealerships at these new car lots. So they uh, sell them, and that's really stupid. They could do that if they really wanted to. Um, anyway, uh, I guess they don't want them competing with their $80,000 trucks. Anyhow, um, we bring them here. Uh, we do an inspection. This is what it looks like. My guys hand me this 604x4 Lariat Crew, one ton FX4, beautiful truck, runs and drives as good as it looks. Uh, all we did to it was four new tires and a windshield. The windshield's not in it yet because we are um, uh, waiting for them to finish up the Forerunner, and then they're going to get to this one next. But it looks like it's going to rain, so we're trying to beat the rain. And this thing just got back from detail. My brother's already taken the pictures of it, and uh, as you can see, that's not looking so good. So we're going to try to beat that, and then we can bring it inside, and they can do the windshield inside one of our bays but uh yeah we'll have a brand new windshield these tires went on about a half an hour ago see he's doing that forerunner right there and he's going to come over and do this one the point of these videos is to make sure that the right person buys the vehicle that there are no surprises um that uh, they know what everyone knows what they're buying to the best of our ability. It's not to sell the vehicle. It's really to make sure there's a little scratch right there. Um, to make sure that uh, you know what you're buying and there's no drama. Drama does not work for the internet. Um, so we make sure that we document everything and that we tell you everything we know. There's a little little scratch here, a little nick here. And right there, obviously, a little touch-up paint would clear that up. It does have air ride suspension, and it's manual, so there's the Philly nozzles right there. Okay. Fire this guy up. Hundred and five thousand three hundred and ninety-four actual miles. Okay? There we go. Let's see, let's start with the uh, Kelly Blue Book. Let me show you the Kelly Blue Book. There it is. Uh, for a Larry F-350 crew cab. 105,384 miles. Typical listing price is $37,363. So it's $37,300 is the uh, Kelly Blue Book on this truck. Here's the Carfax on the truck. There's the VIN. No accidents, no damage. Um, this was Carfax I did it yesterday, expecting the windshield to be in yesterday, so we waited. Um, so that's why it's not today. But I think that's pretty good. It's within 24 hours. 2-4 of 19 is when we did this Carfax. Nothing's changed in the last day. Has some nice services here. Very consistent. On time. That's that. And we found the uh, window sticker in this truck. So, there's the VIN right there. Okay. And MSRP was 60220 and they always, and this thing, I guarantee you, they didn't sell this thing for under 70. So, there's all your equipment. Kind of nice to see this, right? Sold to Kesey Motor Company in Cortez, Colorado. So, like I said, the more information we can give you, the better it is for us and you. Um, that way you can make a good decision. There's no drama. I forgot to unlock the hood. Thought I did. 
but I didn't. There we go. Oh my god, my shoulder is killing me. Ford stamp there. Ford stamp there. And Ford stickers there where they belong. It's all original stuff up front. Um, nothing's been replaced, which is a good thing. Nice truck, really pretty. I do see a crack right here. This thing should go straight up. So sometimes someone ding that. And right here. By the way, I've noticed that they like to crack. I have to be very careful around stuff with those side mirrors. I've noticed that on all the 11s and newer. Looks like if you bump into something, they break. So there's your locks working. Seat forward, back, down, up, tilt forward, and back. Seats are in great shape. Really pretty interior on this truck. Boom, boom, boom. You have manuals. You have a wheel lock key in there, I can see. That's nice. Thresholds are in great shape. Pretty truck. Really pretty truck. I saw this one, I'm like, ah, we are the owner. And there is no buyer's remorse. I like this one a lot. I love how quiet it is. Let's see, what else we got going on here? La, 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 la. Headliner looks good. Everything looks good over there. Boom, boom. Forget if I open this up or not. Get your little step helper that pulls out. And you got the air suspension, showed you that. Boom, boom. We filled this up already, exhaust fluid. We actually found like several gallons of brand new exhaust fluid in a diesel truck we bought. He just bought it. I mean, it was still in the box. The box was sealed. I'm like, beautiful. That was a nice little gift. Although it's not that expensive anymore. It used to be expensive, and now it's not. But it's still nice to have free. Free doesn't suck. So that window mirror's going out. That one going out and in. So the telescoping still works, even though that one has a crack in it. And there's the mirror out and in, up and down. Other side. Out, in, up and down all right let's see what else we got going on here oh these are the memory buttons there uh door locks there you go let's see what else we got going on here door locks D -d 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 -d. power pedals up and down tilt wheel that works fine seat forward and back, up, and down, and tilt forward, and back. That works fine, perfect. All right, let's go for a ride here. Let's check out a bunch of stuff in here first though. Get the seat adjusted, perfect. I got a really sprained shoulder right now, so putting on seatbelts is really fun. So I have to kind of do it with mostly left hand. There we go. All right, let's see. Radio. Steering controls. That's the steering controls. Change stations. So that all works fine. Let's see, what else? We have heated seats, and we have air-conditioned seats. I think I'm 
I'll leave mine on. on this side, turn this one off. There we go. Climate control. Obviously, you got the. Ba -ba -ba. Up and down, all that stuff works. It's definitely blowing cold already. Yeah, I'll turn that down. Let's see. What else we got? Rear sliding window. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Gauges. Let's see. I think we can go here. There's the compass. Oil temp, trans temp. That trip meter, fuel economy, truck apps. That's kind of cool. You got the degrees and stuff in the trailer. Settings. I'll give you a little advice. Don't don't program the key for a uh, speed governor. I did that once. I'll never do that again. Um, there's tow haul on and off. I'm doing that. Yeah, if you put the speed governor on your key, you'll end up going to the dealer and getting it taken off. <laughs> Not the smartest thing I've ever done in my life. That was pretty stupid. I could predict that would be a problem, and it was. All right, so let's go to neutral. Actually, let's fix the gauges. That's not very attractive. Let's put it on the cool one. There we go. Um, let's see, we're in neutral. We go to four low. Shift in progress. Advance track off. When it goes into four low, put it in drive. That's drive. And then reverse. And there's the backup camera. Okay. Neutral. Now we're going to go to four high. Shift in progress. Advanced track is back on. Now we're in four wheel drive. High. Okay. That's drive. And that's reverse. All right. Now we go to neutral. And we're going to go back to two wheel drive. Shift in progress. Now we're in two wheel drive. All right. This truck is being sold on a clear title. It was a dealer trade in. Um, I believe it was Earnhardt. Or it might have been Jones Ford. One of the two um, is where we bought it. And if you come to Tucson and drive it home, you'll have a beautiful truck to drive home, man. I mean, hopefully you can buy a trailer on the way home and tow it to Maine or Alaska or something. This truck is sweet. It'd be a nice trip with this truck. Um, anyway, uh, bu -bu -bu. if you come to Tucson and drive it home, you'll pay the following. You'll pay tax and dock fee. Dock fee is $250. Tax is... Your state tax rate plus our city of 2.7%. Very simple. Your state tax rate plus our city of 2.7 and a $250 dock fee. If you decide to pay by wire and ship, all you pay is the group on price. There's no tax, there's no dock fee, nothing. If you pay by wire and ship, once we receive full payment by wire, we will fill the, out the title with your name or your company's name and address, sign it off to you, scan it in your online file and mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in. That way you can see all the paperwork immediately when you after you paid uh, paid for the car all right so there's uh again more transparency there's no secret keeping here at all um you'll have the truck shipped to you obviously you'll have the title in the mail before the truck gets to you most likely unless you maybe live in a neighboring state um and the mail beats and the truck beats the mail which i doubt um and you'll just go to motor vehicles in your uh city and state and uh go get plates it's very simple Deposit. Once we have an agreed upon price, please get your deposit in. Deposit is $500. And once we have your deposit, we'll put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelkinetics.com and you'll know it's yours. Okay. Uh, very nice uh, Lariat 6 7 4x4 FX4 one ton single rear wheel, which is even better um, truck. It's not going to last long. It's got lots of eyeball. If you're serious, you're going to go through the hour or two of looking at the photos, which is what we like people to do. Really pay attention to the ads so that the right person buys this truck. Um, then you should also be ready with a deposit. Uh, you know, whoever has the timestamp, whoever gets their deposit in first is the one who gets the truck. So be prepared if you're serious. Um, Last part of every video, I say this on every single vehicle we have, I encourage you to verify that by looking at them. Never singling out a vehicle I'm doing a video of. It's just our policy. Uh, we don't have salesmen. We don't kiss butt when people come here and 
you know, tell them that the, it's the greatest truck in the history of trucks. And we don't have a, a, you know, bottle of water with our name on it and a place for you to put your feet up and watch TV all day while we fix your car because we're not fixing your car. The day you buy this vehicle, you're the owner, you will be fixing your own vehicle, okay? Uh, we're not doing a window motor for you. If it breaks the day you get it, the day you get it, it needs an injector. We're not doing that either, all right? We give you all this information, including this, this video, all the photos, the car facts, the Kelly Blue Book, so you can make a good decision and be the owner the day you're the owner. Um, we also don't charge as much as other people because we don't have salesmen. We don't have anyone to pay to sell this truck. Um, uh, we're in a neighborhood where we don't have high rent. Um, we have great security cameras. Um, we have lots of cops who keep an eye on our stuff for us, uh, but uh, that's pretty free. Okay, uh, so we pass that on to you. Uh, that's, you know, our prices get people's attention and that's how. And if we're fixing everything that breaks on a vehicle that's got 105,000 miles 